This is why I'm so glad we have props on the show because I can just transition by putting dry shampoo right on our there. table. So dry shampoo, a lot of people use it as a quick refresher, but could it make your hair fall out? Several online posters claim yes. These pictures you're looking at are from one very upset woman who said her hair was falling out in clumps because of the dry shampoo. Could it really be that harmful though? And I've never used dry shampoo. I've used it a couple times and my thoughts are, why use dry, just wash your hair. Avoid that, wash your hair. Even if it's every two days for longer hair, I could deal with that, but wash your hair. And the way you work, you spray it in, but you then you brush it, it out, right? Brush it out. I'm guessing that it. she's brushing too hard. I mean, I mean, whoa. Well, I've seen some of the pictures online, and there's a lot of women complaining about hair loss with the dry shampoo, so it's interesting to see that because when I use it, when I go to photo shoots, sometimes they have to use it. They'll put a little bit on, they'll tease it, and I just, you know, just wash your hair. It avoids all that. Well, I, at the same time, though, there are certain scenarios, and I think of being in doctor where you're in the hospital for what sometimes feels like days on end, and a little refresher, I think, makes sense. And if you look at... If you talk to dermatologists, they say really the only way it could potentially cause a problem is if this is all you ever did and you're just pouring dry shampoo in your hair over and over again, that could build up on your scalp, Real clog hair. those hair follicles, potentially yeah. causing some issues. But if you're using it the way it's designed to be used, I wouldn't think it would be a problem.